organic white basmati rice from Braggadocia. It's in Missouri, Braggadocia, Missouri, by the McCaskill family farm. We bought 25 pounds. Now, I've not opened this yet. I've had it in the freezer. I gotta figure out on this which side opens. Maybe not that side, this side. Yes. If you get the right side, it opens really well. The inside of the bag is white. It's kind of a mesh-like bag with a paper coating on it. And this is basmati rice. I need half a cup for Danny's supper tonight. So, it looks really good. We're going to put this in the freezer for about a week. It's been in there almost a week now. Make sure that there's no um, insects, larvae, eggs, or anything in it. Uh, Danny and I do this with all our rice, flour, corn, beans, that kind of stuff, dried beans. Put everything in the freezer for about two weeks. I'll take it out, let it get to room temperature, and then we will package it either in mylar or in jars and seal it down for long-term use. Now, basmati rice does have more oil in it than other rices, so it will not last as long, so you will need to rotate out within every, I would say, within every year to two years, use what you have stored. <laughs> All right, guys, we're in the kitchen. Uh, today we're going to be making chicken and rice. I opened some jars of chicken and broth, and we're adding them in. Uh, I think both of these were done two years ago, so we're adding that to our pot. I've got onions that were done last year. I cut up and freeze my onions, so I add a handful of those in there. I cut up and freeze sweet peppers, so I'm going to put a handful of these in there. You just saw me go out and get the basmati rice from McCaskill Farms in Missouri. I've got it washed three times. It's going to be ready to go in in a few minutes. We've got the broth heating up. This is a dish that Danny likes to eat, chicken and rice, beef rice, turkey and rice, pork and rice, it doesn't matter, any of that. He likes that dish as a side dish most nights. So I make some up, put it in the fridge after he eats some the first night. And then I have these little dishes, they're um, corningware. They're called a petite pan, made in the USA. At least mine are. I don't know, I've seen people have them with China. But they're a little blue. This little lid fits on top. Perfect for one serving size. I can put it in the fridge and um, when he wants to eat tomorrow, I take it out, take the lid off, put it in the new wave over here that I've been playing around with and heat it up. So, chicken and rice. That's what's for supper tonight. Now I've added everything in here except for carrots. In just a little while, when this gets done, I have carrots. See, my rice is in there, my peppers, my meat. Everything's in this. This will be a one, one pot dish. When all this cooks and the rice is done, about 20 to 30 minutes, I will add some carrots. We put these up in 18. I'll add the carrots after all this gets done. A one-pot meal, quick, easy, from my canned goods, except for the rice. Now, the basmati rice came from Missouri. We also ordered the popcorn. 
Now, Braggadocia, the McCaskill family farm. Um, Y'all, check them out. They have a website where you can go on and buy popcorn, rice, regular rice, basmati rice, brown rice, or white rice. We like the white basmati because of the nutty flavor. Now, Danny and I love that they're organic and that we can get popcorn and rice here in the United States and we're not worried about too much stuff being sprayed on it. And, um, that's one of my prep items this week and I wanted to show you another one. Now, I ordered from North Bay also this week just to check it out. This is... Um, a family-owned business with no artificial ingredients, 100% natural, North Bay Trading Company, Wyoming. Now, I'm not sure if they do their own or they have other people do it, but this is the only way I found sweet potatoes online to order in a... I looked for freeze-dried sweet potatoes and could not find them. So if you know a place, link it, uh, send me a message in the comments about sweet potatoes that are freeze-dried. Now, Danny and I can freeze dry our own, but right now, I need some that's already ready to put up. This is a sweet potato powder that's been air dried. I could not find freeze dried, but I found air dried. And when you look up the words air dried, it simply means dehydrated. So I have a dehydrator. I can dehydrate also. But I was looking for something for storage, prep item. And... We're going to be trying the sweet potato powder after a while. I'm going to be making something with it to see how it holds up, what it tastes like, and that sort of thing. So I'm going to be opening this one and trying it. And then we'll be packaging it in mylar or in jars and vacuum sealing. I also bought sweet potatoes in chips. They're like in little cubes. And these were air dried also from North Bay. Uh, this is like a five pound bag. And I will be opening these, trying them, and seeing how they reconstitute and what I can do to make di different things with them. Danny's dessert in particular. Uh, you know he loves his sweet potato dessert. So if the powder or the cubes will be a fill-in in case ours are in between seasons or whatever, because we do run out year to year sweet potatoes. We you'd have to have 10 acres to plant enough sweet potatoes. Sweet potato powder was in a Ziploc bag that was sealed. It was heat sealed. Cut it open, then it's in a Mylar bag that was heat sealed. I've got it cut open, so we're going to take some of the powder, and it tells on here, I think it's a quarter of a cup of dry equals one ounce. So, we've got to figure out how much water, I'm guessing one ounce, to the powder to make it back, but we're going to see. I'm going to take half a cup of the sweet potato powder and put it in here. And it does have a clump in it, and that's probably pretty normal as you get it in your sugar or anything else. So, we're going to get any clumps out because I want it smooth. And it's ground into a good fine powder. Like I said, just because it probably, I don't know if there's an oxygen absorber and stuff in there. Probably is. I just haven't gotten it in this. That's half a cup. We're going to add, this is a cup of water. I'm only going to add like close to half a cup. I'm not sure if it's one on one, but we're going to mix that up. Nope, it's going to need more water. And you want it to be sweet potato-y, but you don't want it to be dry. And that's what it's looking like. Alright, this is the rest of a cup of water. I'm going to just mix it in really good. That's a cup of water to half a cup of sweet potato. And it, I still see lumpy stuff that hasn't absorbed water, but we're getting there. Now there's another way I could have done this. 
I could have added a bunch of my ingredients together in my Ninja and then out added the powder in last and made sure that I upped my liquid ingredients to include this. But for now, only with a cup of water. That's what it's looking like. It looks like a sweet potato mixture. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a small sweet potato dessert for Danny. I'm gonna add an egg, a little bit of sugar or honey, probably honey for him. Um, maybe a touch of milk. What else do I put in there? I don't put any flour and stuff. It's almost like a pudding. So we're gonna doctor this up, put it in a little dish and see how it turns out. All right, I added an egg, some honey, and a little bit of baking powder, and a touch of salt. Because you pretty, pretty much want salt in everything, just a touch to make it work. And I'm just gonna mix this up really quickly. sure that's mixed up really well and like I said it's kind of like a pudding most most of my recipes call for a little bit of flour a little sugar a little vanilla a little bit of milk Danny just wants his very simple so honey eggs sweet potatoes and that's it we're gonna put this in the oven for at least 30 to 40 minutes and see what happens. All right, the rice is cooking. It's about half done, I would say, because you want a lot of your moisture to just cook out. And when it gets to almost done, we will add carrots. All right, this is almost done and the the carrots or little bitty carrots that we put in a jar just adding them in last minute and then I'm going to turn the stove off and let this sit put a lid on it and it'll be ready to eat alright Mr. Danny's going to be trying this, yeah, this way. sweet potato this is the powder, right? This is the powder. And like I said, this was the sweet potatoes themselves. He's done been eating on that one. Yeah, I got it. I mean, uh, but, but it looks the same. So it's hot. So don't. It's very hot. It just come out of the oven. I don't know if I'm going to. Oh, oh, look at that. Yeah, that's still. Actually, it's more cakey like. It almost looks cakey, doesn't it? Yeah. I can feel the heat from it, so I know it's hot. Burn your mouth. <laughs> flavor or did you burn your mouth enough you can't tell it's really sweet well I put honey in it Is and I I'm didn't basing? put honey in the other okay because I'm saying it, it's got a good taste but it's just like real sweet I mean it almost looks cakey where this one looks like a pudding right well in the defense of this one, the real this one sweet looks potato. like that when it's first cooked. Yeah. After it cools off, it shrinks down and it gets stiffer. True. So this one, when it was first done, was just like this. So I, it's possible that this one will do the same thing. We won't know until... Because I'm already seeing the top of it. Oh, yeah, it'll go it's, down. It's going down. I'm already seeing the top shrinking on it. Just like this one. This one done the same thing. This one was full to the top. Yeah. And then as it cools, it shrinks down. And this one will do the same thing, I'm pretty sure. So, But the taste is would be just like that one if you hadn't dumped the honey in it. So the taste is okay. It's sweet potato taste. It's like a sweet potato. So air-dried, powdered sweet potatoes will work in a fix. It'll work. It 
sure will.